This is Bob Jaderberg with the Reporter newspaper. Today is Thursday, January 27th, and I'm at Paperback Trading Company in Oak Lawn. I'm here with Larry Kuhn, who is uh, an employee of Paperback Trading Company. Uh, Larry, why don't you tell me a little bit about your store here? Um, basically, we opened up in 1979. Our original uh, place was over on Harlem Avenue, and we opened that in 1978. Found this place in 79, opened it up and used just one half of the, the store as a beginning. We started out with eight shelves in this store. Once the other place became available next door, then we opened up the wall and utilized that space as well. Okay. So we've been here since 1979. Wow, and the place is packed. It's uh, lots of shelves uh, with uh, books. I figure we have about maybe 50 to 100,000 books in here. Wow. What happens is the customer turns in their books and gets an in-store credit. And the used books in the store that are available, uh, instead of being half the cover cost, are only 20% of the cover cost to the customer that trades books in. If a customer comes in, a uh, first time person, and decides to buy something, then the used books are at the half cover. Well, let's take a quick look around the store then. See what, what all is here. This is the recommended reading. Either Ruth or myself are the ones that have read the books or customers will come in and say, this is a great book, you should read it, then we'll put it on this shelving. The new, the new books here are just at a 25% discount. Then we have cash books, which are the current books, 010, uh, 20011, and they're at a discounted half price only. Then we have the specialty area where special authors are placed because they're more popular than the rest of the authors. So we have people like Nora Roberts and Debbie McCumber and uh, Sandra Brown. This area starts the romance mystery section. Right. This is a new section of uh, books that has just come out within the past couple of years where there's mystery mixed in with romance. Oh, okay. The area down here is the, anything you see with a red heart, is the historical romance books. And these are placed alphabetically by the author's last name. Coming up the aisle now, we have historical harlequins. Around the corner of them, we have the paranormal, those are the vampires, time laps where they go back into time and werewolves all of that spooky stuff okay this so this is, is probably a popular section popular section now with this the twilight <coughs> okay all the rest of this on both sides is a specialty book put out by harlequin and there are some that come out eight a month four a month and they're put on the shelf by the number because so many books come out every month. Down in here are the Harlequins that are special, uh, special editions, American, but they're all Harlequins. Almost looks like the adult section back there because it's kind of yeah, tucked away. <laughs> we'll get to that one. And then you have the more Harlequins, but they're romance and a little suspense. You need another store just for the romances. Mm -hmm. This is contemporary romance, so this is up to date. Current stuff, um, romances in the era now. Okay. And then we do have some erotica stuff. Well, it's out there, okay. I see. That's right here. <coughs> Stay away from this area, kids. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> If you ever read one, it's not as bad as this. Okay. <laughs> this begins the general fiction. Anything with a red GF in it 
is general fiction, and they have it by the author. So Abbott is going to be under the A's, uh, Baldacci is going to be under the B's, etc. Now, do you get a lot of um, your customers, what age range would you say that they are? 12 to 85, 90, oh, okay. as long as they can read. We have a lot of kids that come in for their school books that are assigned at school. Oh, is that you have textbooks? That's not textbooks, but the recommended reading oh, books. Okay, gotcha. That's over there. Small children, under five. That's here, and then general fiction continues around this way. Okay. Towards the back wall is the puzzles. You can trade your puzzles in. Oh, like and jigsaw puzzles? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. And then the kids' books are here. Puzzles. <coughs> here are the westerns. Oh, westerns, okay. And you have the uh, historical and the saga. Military is here. It's general fiction and, uh, and non-fiction military. come around to the area for the school books, which are the classics or the assigned books at school. They don't necessarily need to be a classic. Obviously, The Hunt for Red October is not a classic, right. but it's been assigned at school, so this is where they'll find it. And most of our customers that have come into the store will know when their kids need books that they'll come here and, and they'll generally find it. And here is the plays. Sometimes there's three plays in one book. Sometimes there's just one. Cliff notes, a lot of cliff notes. Cliff notes are there. You have nonfiction over here, and then biographies. The whole bowling section up there. Uh, all right. We do have mm -hmm. some things that are for sale, like uh, little odds and ends and knickknacks. There's stuff on the walls for sale. Some of my arts for sale. Also for sale at Paperback Trading Company are some fine pieces of art done by Larry himself, which uh, he takes to shows and uh, also sells here in the store. And uh, Larry, what what uh, media did you say this is again? Art memo. Well, this is marker. This is pencil. Pencil. Like okay. Pencil. This is marker. And. That's pencil. That's marker. Okay. Well, they're beautiful. This is pencil, and that's pencil. This one is brushing. All right. This is another colored pencil art, uh, butterfly sketch that Larry did. And you say this one, uh, Larry, is pencil. That's pen and ink oh, pen and, and ink. brush and ink combination. In addition to books, artwork, and a lot of other knickknacks and doodads and plates and, and artwork and things that you can find around the store, um, Paperback Trading Company off, also offers raw honey straight from the uh, hive. Um, friend of Larry's uh, and Larry himself actually helped collect a, a lot of this honey in, um, in a, in a, a a bee farm in Pullman, Illinois, in Pullman uh, District of yeah. Chicago. Larry, in closing, um, what, do you, what words of advice or uh, have you got for? We're probably the cheapest entertainment that you can find. For a buck and a half, you can be entertained for four hours. Wow! Can't beat that at the show or at Borders. <laughs> Thanks very much for uh, for having us out here today, Larry. You're welcome. Anytime.